Okay, before we go to the next part, though, I, I, I got to do one thing with you guys because I love it, and they usually do it every time. <laughs> okay, um, when I was in the uh, when I was in the army, I um, <laughs> I was in basic, and I went in as an 89 Bravo. If any of you guys are, as an ammunition specialist, which is really fancy for warehouse guy. Just didn't know that. I was like ammo, heck yeah, and it was you're counting ammo, <laughs> and I had no idea. But uh, anyway, so I got in there, and uh, I remember we had this this part of basic training where. Um, I went in January. If you guys are planning on going to the military right now, like I'm just telling you, don't go in January. <laughs> it was rough. Holy smokes, they took advantage of the fact it was so cold, right? So it'd be raining ice, and you're just out there in t-shirt and shorts, and, you know, just like freezing. Shut up, you know. And uh, at this one point, we were practicing taking over um, areas. Okay, if we're gonna go, we're gonna go to this field, like this is how everyone moves, this is where we spread. It's kind of like football plays, honestly, how they draw it. They're like, okay, here's the field, and you're gonna move in in this area, here's your fields of fire, right? And, um, and so this one particular day though, it's, it's literally raining ice. It's in, it's in uh, South Carolina, I went to Fort Jackson, relax in Jackson, baby. <laughs> okay, and, uh, and this area, it was raining ice, and this field that they took us to to practice taking over areas was completely saturated, like in a ton of water. And it was like 33 degrees, so it was bare, almost frozen, not quite. And I remember at this one point, for some reason, um, so we were, we were practicing taking over these things, and these drill sergeants are telling us, okay, you go over there, you go over there, you go over there, put your foot and lock it with the other guy so you can kind of communicate, you know, so you like move your foot and be like, hey, I see something, you know, <laughs> right? So you communicate like that. And um, um, so we're, we're, the place where they point at for me to go <laughs> was like, it was like a foot of water. It was so cold. You know that Southern cold, how it's way different than the Western cold? Cause they got the humidity, right? So it's way like bone chilling cold. Um, People are still like throwing up and they're getting like uh, um, hypothermia and stuff. And, and they say like, okay, Larson, go lay down in this thing here. And I was like, ah. and you can't, I mean, they brainwash you, you know, until you know, so you're like, okay, you know, oh my gosh, Ugh. right? And you know, when you get like something super cold, all the capillaries in your body shrink up real fast and, right? and you start freaking out and stressing. And, and um, after a while, you stop shaking. And it's because your body's trying to conserve heat and bring all the blood to the organs, right? So you stop shaking, and it's when your lips start turning blue and your fingernails start. And so I'm laying in there, and this, this guy is laying next to me with our feet locked. He's like, this is, I can't repeat everything that was. <laughs> this is bull crap. I can't believe this. What in, you know, it's going crazy. And I had this moment, and I don't know why, but this has blessed my life forever. I learned so many mentalities from the army that was so helpful. I was laying there, and I was like, I have no control over the situation. It's not like I can get up and walk away. I'll be in my trailer, you know? <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. I'm checking out, right? Can't do that. It's like, well, I have no control of the situation. I do have control over how I act about it, though, how I react. So I was laying there in my body, I feel it, and it starts going into the no shake zone. I was like, oh, this is where my lips turn blue. You know, I grew up skiing like crazy, and so I know that feeling. It's like, here it comes. I can't move my lips and my mouth. And this is as far as I can, you know. And I'm laying there, and, and, and inside, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna act, I'm gonna act, react well to this. And I don't know why, like, I waited for these drill sergeants to leave, and they would just, because they just leave you there to see if you're disciplined to just sit. So you just stay, then you know, you can be there for a while. So as soon as they left, I stood up and I was like, wow, yeah, son, wow. And I started jumping in the water and all these other soldiers are like, shut up, Larson, I'll kill you in your sleep. Stop it, what are you doing? Get out of here. And I was like, yeah, son, what's up? And I think it's a lot where like the yelling beast came out of. And I, and I started running around, kicking in the water, splashing. Stop it, I can't kill you. I, I hate your guts, stop it, this is not fun. It's not fun. I was like, I know, it's, you know. But for some reason, like, that's where a lot of like my, hey, this is gonna suck, and I know that, but I'm okay with that. When you, oh, that's a power zone. Okay, and I started, that's where I started learning that. And it was in that moment. And there was a ton of other scenarios where it was just crappy. And that's, I had no control over it, that's okay. And um, I started in my mind and then later on yelling, ho ho, baby. If it was about to hit the fan a little bit, 
<laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> means bring it, sucker. Right? Do your worst, right? <laughs> you ever listen to David Goggins? If you're, fun, if you're offended by swearing, do not listen to that guy, right? But it's very much that, and I started learning that a little bit. And he, anyway, so, <laughs> like there's this one, they, they closed down the mess hall next to us because there wasn't enough soldiers there, but we were still there. So they had to shuttle in all this food, but it wasn't enough. I lost, I went from like 180 to 155 in like a month. I mean, it was like, because you're using so many calories, you know, it was, it was nuts. I was so insanely skinny when you guys came to graduation, right? And it's because they closed down this mess hall and I was like, rah, 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 you know, I'm not brainwashed, rah, 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 you know? <laughs> and, um, but there was that piece though. <laughs> oh baby, and I kept that. And every time something got really crappy, I would either yell it, they'd be like, shut up Larson, it'll kill you. And, uh, or some of them started getting it. So I started yelling it more and started yelling it more. Now, I want to do it with you guys. It's 8.25. We have one last session here. And I need your full attention. And um, so I want everyone to stand up. This is a very, very special ceremony <laughs> that we're going to do here with this, okay? When you do it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, all right. If you're feeling the hurt a little bit, just look at it and own it. It's all right. Don't have to be comfortable all the time in life, okay? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to reach down and grab your boot strings. You guys have never grabbed your boot strings, all right? Grab your boot strings. Yeah, right? Now, this is, don't mess it up. There's a very special way to say it. It's all in caps. This is how you spell it, all in caps. H, apostrophe H. Ho. B-A-Y, B-A-Y, baby. It's not baby, it's baby, all right? Ho, ho, baby. So you got to, yeah, right? Do you guys good? So we got this? Yes. You got to grab your boot strings, right? You got to snarl a little bit. Don't be bringing a weak sauce, ho, ho, baby, to the ceremony, all right? This has got to be a real, grab it from the depths, mm, right? From the floor. Just feel free to snarl, that's okay. Okay, grab the boot strings, uh. Ready? Ho, ho, baby! Wow, yeah, so I get it! Yeah, bring on the heat! Wow! <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's it too late for Monday? It's not, yeah, yeah, it's too late for Monday. We might have to do it later, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> what's that? Larson, I'll kill you! Yeah, Larson, I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, Larson, they had a new shirt right there. Larson, I'll kill you. <laughs> um... I want you to know, though, like there, that, there's a real thing to that. There were so many times, it's insanity to build the amount of funnels that I did at Clay Funnels, right? The amount that we were doing over there, I mean, my wife was like, you're, you're going to die. I mean, there's like actual times she was like nervous. Don't, don't, you don't have to build that many funnels to have success. You really don't. Okay. And we were moving at such a fast pace. And it's because we were thinking about you, right? We're like, man, we got to go get this done because... Russell's, you'll see tomorrow when he comes on stage, we're very excited about, he is so focused on the service piece. Never in my life have I ever met somebody who is as rich, but massive humility. I have such respect for that. And we would go in and we'd be like, okay, let's go, let's go start serving, let's go do this. I remember I finished a fat event, a fun hackathon event, right? And it was, if you've ever spoken, if they say that 90 minutes on stage is the equivalent in energy expenditure to an eight hour workday. 90 minutes on stage. After three days, I was dominated, right? I mean, I was just completely gone. The fat event ended, and we went directly into the viral video launch that night. I mean, I literally left the event from one room, walked into the next. I fell asleep in a sound booth room for probably a few minutes, and then I stood up and started building funnels for what was coming up the next day. And I was exhausted. And you know what he and I did? <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> State control. There's something real to it. I have a trampoline behind stage, actually. <laughs> I'll bring it out tomorrow. There's a trampoline back there. Stay control. It's bringing Steve out. Right? And he and I would be like, okay, let's go do this. And we'd listen to Seven Nation Army for the billionth time and uh, get jacked by it again. Woo! Right? And, and just go for it. And uh, there's, you don't, you know, you don't have to be comfortable. Right? That's where the growth zone comes. Anyway, is that all right to do? We good? Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Baby.